Hello there. Uh, welcome to uh, a very special episode of Back of the Landing Net, really. Um, we're, we're down here at the legendary St Ives Complex in uh, Cambridgeshire. Yep, once held the, uh, the British record, didn't it? Absolutely. I think they're all one of the biggest fish swimming around. I'm not too sure. I've got to check my history. I'm not very good at that, as you know. But fantastic. But we've uh, we've come down here, sort of a very special session, like I say, to uh, join a lot of the Mistral team, a lot of friends of uh, sadly departed Malcolm Grice, who um, unfortunately died of cancer last summer. Um, he was a member of Team Mistral, pretty much a legendary carp angler, wasn't he? Yeah. I think yeah. what what was his uh, what was his best capture? Well, what, what was the most famous anyway? It's the, it's the reason we're here, really. It's the reason we're at this venue because uh, uh, probably. 20 yards that way is a lake called Lagoon Lake, um, where Malcolm caught a uh, fat lady, a well, very well-known carp, at uh, 55 pounds, four ounces, um, which was an unbelievably special capture. And uh, I think it's quite apt that we've all got together here to have a bit of a social, a um, little bit of a celebration, and a bit of a fish, really. Definitely. Well, um, yeah, he had a great uh, great love for this place, which is why uh, Rich Adams, Rich Fat Bloke Adams, you might know him from some of the magazines. Of course you do. Of course you do. He's uh, <laughs> he's heading it up, really. But fantastic. Anyway, more more to do with the fishing, Jay. Yeah. Um, well, I was a bit worried because all the people we spoke to says it's a very, very quiet fishery. It's got, I think, eight, nine lakes yeah. and not a lot of members. And these lakes hardly get fished. And sort of what's in here, I've heard, is a bit unknown. Yeah. But we've, we've just got excited as we've seen about four carp moving about with incredible bow waves, really, haven't they? Yes, yeah. It's, um, well, it's, it's a strange old setup because Chris is on a lake here. Which one's this one? Ivers Lake. Oh, yeah, I think so. This is either Ivers or Anderson's, and you're on. Ivo's or Anderson. Just literally, we've got it's ten yards of a uh, walkway in between the lakes, so we're That's fishing it. two lakes. That's it. Vivi pegged up in the middle. We're fishing two lakes either side, which we'll show you in a bit more detail, probably tomorrow now. But yeah, we've been the water, the waves have been crashing into my corner here, so there's a chance of fish being held up. And people have seen fish there today, and we've just been looking at Chris's swim for the last quarter of an hour. And we've seen some fish, haven't we? Some real nice fish. Definitely. And the, the reason we're getting excited about this is because I think we'll be happy with one fish from the weekend, mm. won't we? Yep. And there's some absolute mega fish in these two lakes. So uh, that's it. Not not just carp. You know, bream. Um, I think bream. I think the biggest was 19. Tench up 12 plus. Yeah. So um, you know, any of those will, will do very nicely. But it's something else. This place. I mean, um, they're, they're talking carp to 36 in the lake I'm fishing. Um, obviously big bream, big tench, um, carp to 40, 42. That's what somebody quite... said, yeah, it hasn't been confirmed, but yeah, it's exciting and it's just an unknown thing, so uh, I think we're yeah. both pretty happy hmm. here for a mission. Feels like we're doing a bit of proper carping, yep. it's done it. So, um, well, let's crack on and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. That's it, one, one thing that's worth saying as well, we've said to quite a few of the guys, if you get a fish, come and give us a shout, we'll come and grab, grab it for the camera. So. Uh, they, hopefully they they do that and they're not polite and yeah we all want to see fish from here so fingers crossed for everybody really and hopefully it'll be a good weekend mate. Right, well uh, I better oh. get my other rod out. Oh, also happy birthday. 33, third of century. Not That's that it. great news, but 33 by age. What's your PB? 33. So 10. so time to increase that. Time to increase that. PB's always got to be better than your age. That's it. So, um, yeah, cool. Right, let's crack on. See you in a bit. <laughs> Right mates, um, it's just gone midnight now, um, give us a bit of an update. Uh, a bit of an update is we have been receiving what we think are savage liners, probably once every 45 minutes an hour. Yeah, yeah. Sort of obviously not on the, you know, on the dot every half an hour, but um, yeah, we, we're hoping it's, uh, it's the big old girls get around the bait. We know there's a lot of other species as we've already mentioned. You know, the bream, the tench, there's a lot of silvers, I think, as well, but mm -hmm. could just be those big girls, mate, picking up a few freebies. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Um, but, but I think a fish has come out on the lagoon, isn't it? A small one, actually, for the Yeah, lagoon. yeah, very small one for the lagoon. Was it just, just a double, wasn't it? 11 pounds, I think. Yeah, that's it. But um, pretty special to hear the alarms going, I'd, I'd imagine, for whoever caught oh, that. Oh, yeah, so. I know. It would have always been a bit disappointing, I suppose, knowing the fish in there, but. A fish is a fish out of that lake, isn't it? That's it, yeah. yeah. So it's something to be proud of. That's but, it, mate. Well, yeah, like I say, I, I feel like I'm fishing the best I've done all year. I'm really happy with my cast. I'm trying a couple of newish rigs, or rigs I've used before, but not, 
you know, well, wouldn't use first off, but I've banged them out. I'm really happy with those. Jay's, you've got a lovely little spot, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. But uh, like you said, I think we'll show you those tomorrow. Obviously can't show you them now. No, we'll, we'll show you the spots tomorrow. Um, it's it's a really interesting thing, um, being in like this swim and being able to fish two different lakes, actually. It's quite, it's quite bizarre, it's, really. It's, it's radical. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the new radicals. It's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh well, come on then, mate. Let's, let's... let's get the head down and uh, yeah. hopefully we'll be up before uh, breakfast. But if we're not, uh, at least we've had a good sleep. We'll hit it harder tomorrow. That's it. Cool. Catch yeah, catch you later. Well, a um, bit of excitement really, um, next next swim up from where I'm fishing, uh, lad is into what could be quite a nice fish, don't know, could be, could be anything, but certainly been a bit of action. Does it feel alright? Yeah, look, look at the tents, look on the crowd's face. They're, they're gathering around this swim. They, they want to see some carp. Look at this. <laughs> What's Chris doing behind Rich? Oh dear, oh no. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, well done, well done. Still tangled up as well. Well done, mate. Well done, lad. <laughs> 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 medium spots at 27. 27 4. Was that PV? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we have a little rule down south. We chuck him, chuck the person in the lake. Is that, is that still? Yeah, yeah. You can mate, what you want to do, use, use her fins almost as, as a holding point. Yeah. So if you gently slide them onto your arms like that, get those fingers there by that fin. And you... Yeah, as soon as you get this, that's for it. Just try not to panic when she does flap. Come on, you get those fingers around that fin. Yeah, it's almost, that's the easiest way to hold them like that. Yeah. Okay, so. There we go, you're happy with that? Yeah. Uh, well, talk us through it. Yeah, that's it, tilt it so it's... That's it, and yeah, then that's just bring her up to you a bit and look up, mate, and that's a oh, perfect hello, that's lovely. Look at that. Well, well, absolutely cracking carp there. I'd Excellent. say just caught on a swim up. And uh, yeah, what do you have that yeah. one on? Uh, was it the new white pop-ups uh, menstrual? Nice, nice. So yeah, no, got to be chuffed to bits with that. Cracking fish. Oh no. That's the last thing you've one of those fall on your head. Yeah. Dear oh dear. 
Um, well, uh, there, you, there you go. Um, that's a 27.4 um, cup caught here in Ivers, uh, known as the Ivers Linear. Um, quite a famous cup, quite sought after by the people that fished that lake. So, uh, yeah, you can be quite happy with that. Cracking result, cracking result. We've also uh, found out we were calling them the wrong names. <laughs> yes. That's Ivers Lake, and uh, the one I'm fishing, Anderson's Lake. Yeah. Um, you know, Anderson's Lake's got a bit of a history, actually. I think back when uh, Terry Hearn was fishing the lagoon, this sort of main lake on the complex, he would often come down and uh, fish Anderson's. And um, he did a lot of time on here, and I think he dedicated pretty much half half of one of his books to the lake. So, uh, well, first thing, I wish I would have, would have read it and would have known about it before we've come <laughs> here, to be honest. Yeah. I might, I might, uh, might look that up. But secondly, uh, yeah, he's reported to be one of his favourite lakes, and you sort of see why in it. It's, it's absolutely stunning. And if I could get one of the originals out, it could be a very special fish indeed. If you get one of these originals out, you know, it's probably had Terry's hand underneath that. Be like your hands on his hands via a cup. Could be a special connection there. <laughs> nice. If you but, ever see him, you have to tell him. Anyway, though, apart from the uh, Ivers uh, linear, oh, what's it called? Ivers linear. Ivo. Ivo linear. Yeah. We've um, not been a lot else going on, has there really, since the early morning sort of bit of action? No. Um, but to be fair, there's been a 28, 29 pounder out of the lagoon um, as well, um, which is quite good. Unfortunately, we didn't get a shout out for that, so. Uh, not got that on camera, but that's a nice fish anyway. It is, it is. I mean, like the owner says, you know, this isn't a place you're going to come and sort of like be a runs water, is it? You sort of have to work for your fish, but the rewards are great, as you've oh. seen. You know, we've only got one fish on camera and it was a 27 pound linear carp. Beautiful. You know, beautiful. Absolute stunner, isn't it? And, uh, you know, we've heard reports as well. 19.4 bream came out of Lagoon um, last week. 19.4 bream. <laughs> Nice. Double figure tench. Unbelievable. Yeah, we've actually uh, adjusted a couple of our rigs to uh, go for them. We'll probably show yeah. you those in a bit. That's it. I say we uh, we have to show you around our swims as well, obviously. Yes. But anyway, uh, let's get a cup of coffee on, mate, and we'll uh, we'll carry on with a bit of fishing, shall we? Yeah. Okay, mate. So. Oh Jesus! It's the wolves. Get the camera. Get the Mate, all right, lovely cast, lovely cast. Everything on the menu, dude. Excuse me, excuse me. Please go have a light. Sorry, mate. How you doing? Go on then, Rich. Last time, off the menu. Who are you? Basically, we've obviously got your attention because there's a lovely array of prizes here. But before we do this, I'd just like to say, I mean, I I met Mount through Mr. Bates, basically. I did only fish with him a handful of times, but you know, in that time, it became clear what a top, top guy he was. Excuse me. So um, that's why we've done this. So thank you so much for turning up and all your support and, and all dipping deep and putting plenty of money into the raffle. It's been fantastic. So we've still got another night's fishing to go. Tight lines for everybody tonight. And again, thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. So give yourself a. Thank you. Here, here, to Mel. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One three three. Green one three three. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> oh dear, we well, that was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, lovely sort of afternoon. Everyone around the lakes brought all the rods in, mm. just went over, had a lovely barbecue. Poor Mount Grice family was there. Yeah, had a lovely raffle, lots of great prizes, as you've seen. Yeah, lots of winners. <laughs> Hey, whiskey, glug 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 glug. glug, 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 glug. Yeah. Oh, never, never fish and cup. Hey, fish and cup. Never, never, fish and never, never drink and cup. <laughs> never drink and cup. That's what you, you've never. No, well, there you go. But yeah, sort of uh, set the tone for the weekend. Really, is sort yeah. of fishing in second place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely secondary. It's about you know we've had a nice chat to some of the guys and uh, nice little uh, social and fishing gathering. Um, you know, in memory of a good bloke. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, enjoyable. I mean, that, that said, we have got back to the swims, mate, haven't we? And yeah. uh, put the rods out there for the night. Chucked all three rods out. Looking, uh, yeah. I think, well, you know, we've got a chance, haven't we? Had a run, like, yeah, this morning. Yeah, yeah. Better fish come out down there, obviously, as you've seen. And, uh, you know, what I have done tonight a bit differently, and I think Chris has done something fairly similar, is I've put a bit of bait out that I'd hope to attract up one of the large tensile bream down here, because some of the residents go. Um, to quite a size, as, as we've said already. So, uh, yes, mate. That'll do nicely. Let's get on with it. Yeah. I've got hiccups. <laughs> hiccups. Why do they call it that? Why do they call it that? Right. Um, not very often we come up here. This is a St. Ives fishery, as we've already explained. Just done the raffle. Lovely, uh, lovely event, really. But we notice the rules. Very funny rules. Unusual rules. One thing. Don't put a fish on your arm and run off with it. What? A, you know. Don't cook a fish in a frying pan. Don't stick a steak through a fish. Weird, isn't it? You know what I mean? What, what can we do now? Go on, mate. Go yeah, on. Yeah, stop this. Oh. That's not bad, though, is it? Not that, mate. He's redoing it. See, that's. I think that's an important lesson. If you're going to leave your bait out all night and you slightly get your cast a yard or two off target, Bring it back in, wouldn't you say, Jay? How many fish do you think that's counted for over the years? I'll probably like a third of them, probably half a meter out there. I'm not not happy with it. Just get it right. Just get yeah. it right. Well, if it's out there all night, mate, what's an extra ten minutes sorting it all out again? Nothing at all. Come on, <laughs> for Christ's sake! <laughs> Pull your fingers out. Oh dear. Well, it was quite a quiet night, really, for uh, Chris and I. I'm um, just waiting to get in the loo now. I've uh, been waiting a little while. Um, not sure who's in there, but. Yeah, uneventful, but you know, had some sleep, that's something. So, uh, yeah, just uh, waiting. Oh. What a night. But I'm okay because I'm strawberry fresh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fruity. Well, I've come down here to uh, the lagoon just to have a look around really and uh, you can see why it's such a special lake um, of course it's where uh, the fat lady used to reside uh, where Malcolm had that special capture but uh, it does look special and there's still some special fish in there absolutely stunning lake and uh, yeah be an absolute delight to come back here and fish here and spend uh, a bit of time here sometime beautiful Right, uh, we're joined here Rich Adams, sure you've seen him uh, through the video that we've been going on, sort of one of the main organisers of the event. So we, we've, had a, we've had a great time Rich, sort of just packing down now. But one thing me and Jay were very keen to get off you, is what is your, um, you know, you're a very successful angler, you're a consultant, gardener, yep. you've, uh, you've got your regular magazine slots, what is your standard rig? That's what we want to know. Standard yeah, rig. Yeah, what if you um, were to you know attack most waters with one rig? I'll be honest, so, mate. If you talk to me about rigs, I'm not the most technical of guys, so it's, I keep everything really simple. 
Yeah. Um, just a standard fluorocarbon hook link, knotless knot style, single boilie, lead clip system with a lead core leader, and it really is as simple as that. That is literally 90% of my fishing, unless I feel the need to change the rig. Is, is done with this rig that I've got here. So fantastic. What um what's the material you use on the fluoro? Um the hook link is the subterfuge super soft. Uh, that's fifteen pound breaking strain. That's from Gardner. Yeah. Um, the hook is a because I fish a lot of the time. I'll use a twenty mil single hook bait. So obviously you want your hook to relate to the size of the bait. So yeah. basically I will use. On there, I've got a size four mugger, which some people are like, whoa, you know, that's a big yeah. hook. But if you're using a big bait, you really need your hook to match up to the size of the bait. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, I am a fan of big baits. In the past, I've probably fished a double 20 mil. Really? So you're looking, you know, you want a decent big hook on there. Um, as for hook holds, um, I'm sure when you look close closely at the rig, you'll see there's quite an aggressive yeah sort of curve to it which literally has formed itself just purely from the mugger and, and the, the stiff hook link and, and i've found that hook holds are pretty much spot on every time fantastic you were you're telling me just before we started this um how many fish did you have at your syndicate last year and how um, many did you drop i had 90 runs of which i landed 88 fish wow. so the <laughs> two drop fish in, in a season is it's, it's pretty literally good. you land 97 percent of it, all mate. your fish pretty yes. much yeah well not all that. the time but that particular season wow um and, and i put that down to the to really to the garden of mugger hooks i think they're just a brilliant hook yeah you know the hook hold is great the curve gives you gives you that aggressive turn and uh yeah most of the time it's it's spot on and so um I mean, if you were sort of starting out on a day ticket water, say the you know biggest was twenty, mainly they were sort of six to twelve pounds. Would you scale down your sort of a rig there, or? Um, I probably would. I mean, I'd go for a smaller hook, and yep. a smaller bait, definitely. Okay. Um, what I tend to do on waters like that, especially if it's a new water that I haven't fished, um, I'll perhaps try a, a variation or, or a different rig on each rod, or possibly a solid bag on one rod. Which you know, as we all know, a solid bag just put out for a start can often bring up an instant fight, yeah, especially right. on day ticket waters. Um, but no, I mean I would scale this down a bit probably, and, and maybe fish a 15 mil. But then there is the other sort of end of the scale. Um, you know, if you've got a water that's got a lot of smaller fish and perhaps one or two bigger fish, by sort of upping your hook bait size, you can sometimes pick out the bigger fish because the smaller fish obviously avoid the. Or, or literally just can't sure. pick up the bigger hook bait, so... Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the owner of uh, this fantastic fishery up here in St Ives, Gordy. Hello. Um, well, we've had a great time on your fantastic lakes, haven't we, really? I mean, we've, I think we've been a bit unlucky. I missed one yesterday morning. Yeah. But we've yeah. seen the Ivo mirror come out of uh, Ivo's lake. Linear. Ivo linear. What do yeah. I call it? Mirror. Oh, there you go. Well, it is a mirror. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, Jake. Yeah, is, it, is it the, though? No, the, no, I don't know. There's other mirrors. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all wrong. Um, also, a couple of great fish out in Lagoon, as well, we've heard. Um, yeah. Yeah, just want to know about the place, really, because it seems sort of, it seems really quiet, but like we said, if we saw this, if this was down near us, yeah. It would just be absolutely packed out. And I'd be in Mexico, big game fishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's But I'm not, I'm fishing down here. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's a lovely complex, something for everyone. You know, you've got, you've got nine lakes, um, well, seven in reality, I suppose. Everything from 100 acres down to five acres. Um, obviously, you've seen, seen the mirror out of um, Ivo, lovely little four acre lake, you know, lilies, nice margins, all the rest of it. Plenty of carp. I've been stocking it over the last five years. Um, over the road, you've got meadow fjords, which obviously a lot of people have heard of, but no one's fishing yet again. Um, Tricor, Shadow Pit. Shadow Pit's done two forties this year so far, um, and it's yeah, it's on the whole fairly fairly quiet. That's it, it's, which is unbelievable given the stamp of fish about really. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's you know, there's two different syndicate tickets available. Um, there's a hundred pound day season, you know, days only, hundred pound for the year. 
come the winter, obviously there's good pike fishing as well. We do a winter ticket for, for 60 quid from November onwards. Wow. Um, day tickets are available on here, you know, so, you know, if you wanted to, you could come and pit your wits against, you know, against that, well, Ivo Linear, and there's, there's, you know, plenty of other fish in there as well, up to 30 pound, all that might be in here, difficult to know. But there's, there's plenty of fish to go at, and there's a lot of availability and a lot of space. That's it, and what's worth saying as well, it's stunning. Absolutely oh, it's, stunning. it's beautiful, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a wildlife haven, you know, it's, 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 you know, they're very old, very mature lakes, you know. What's it like, the, um, the sort of mystery about the place? Well, this is think? it as well, you know, there's, there's, there's known fish, there's known history, um, but there's not many people fishing, you know, there haven't been really so many people fishing it in recent times, because most people have been on the lagoon. Um, so, I mean, every lake's got, got mystery about it, you know. It's, 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 you know, to me, it's what fishing fishing should be about, you know. Absolutely. Definitely, yeah. Especially, I, I love the look of this Anderson's Lake. It's just so carpy, isn't it? Yeah. I would, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah, well, we, say, just, if we, we were just closer, had one fizzing up down here five minutes ago. I just dropped a little target nut on its head, yeah. but, yeah, you know, there's, there's fish everywhere in here. You know, so many little nooks and crannies and channels and stuff. You know, it's, it's proper. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's the word for it, isn't it? It's proper yeah. carp fishing. It's not going to be a, a run a minute, is it? But no. when you do get one, it's a yeah. Yeah. potentially very, very special indeed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope, we're hoping it's definitely not the last time we're fishing up here. Anyway, yeah, well, we know you know where it is now. That's <laughs> it. Uh, we, we, we've had a great time, and it's, like I say, stunning location. We've yeah. heard stories about some of the fish here and some of the history, and uh, yeah, we'd, we'd recommend anyone to get down here if they haven't got down here just to yeah. just come check it out. Come check it out. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Even, you know, if you're just in the area, just come and have a look around the place. It will make you want to go fishing so much. Yeah. Cool. So, all right, well, cheers. Yeah. Cheers for your time. All right, nice Yeah, one. thanks very thanks. much for uh, laying this on. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh? Yeah. Uh, well, was a run. Right, that's it today um, for Back of the Land, innit? Um, it's been a bit of a cracking weekend, really. Um, not too many fish caught, but good times had by all. Definitely, lovely barbecue, well organised, Rich. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah, a few it's of been your brilliant. A few of your buddies. What was the? Um, what do you estimate the sort of total to be just over uh, the weekend? Well, we've had a tot up, so uh, we're looking at about uh, 1,100 pounds. So chuffed to bits with that, Fantastic. you know. And, and thank you guys for for coming all this way. Uh, and obviously, everybody's really sort of dug deep. So very, very pleased. Malk's family were were really impressed, really touched. So yeah, it's been great. So so thanks guys, thanks for coming down, and uh, thanks again to a lot of people. Look forward to uh, the next one, hopefully next year, if, if if all goes to plan. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, yeah, well we we thoroughly enjoyed it anyway. Um, we were just saying what a stunning group of lakes they got down here. Well, yes, yeah. It's, I mean, it's you've got the lakes, but you've obviously you've got the history as mm, well. Mm, um, mm. Hell of a lot of history, sort of you know going back a few years, real sort of carp in Mecca. So yeah, it's nice to have been able to fish. A venue like that, yeah. okay, not not so many fish, but maybe expected. It's not an easy water. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. Really good weekend. Yeah. Um, but I'd, I'd just like to, you know, obviously you guys have travelled so far, so um, just as a thank you, I thought I'd get you a drink. I know you like a tipple, so uh, yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, just just go easy though, guys. Oh. Okay, I'm, there's a there's a. Coke for you hey, and, hey. And, a, and a Coke for you hey. as well, Chris. So, yeah. Oh. Nice. Impressive as well. He's remembered my birth certificate name. Yeah, not, not, not the nickname. Brilliant. Impressive. Yeah, yeah. You no know, one would ever think that was set up, really, would they? No, no, no. no, 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 no we haven't had these yeah. since Friday. Brilliant. <laughs> so that's lovely. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see you next time on Excellent. Uh, Back of the Land, isn't it? Brilliant.